Go right. Go for you. You uh, travel on to uh, to the village of Murfall. It is a pretty eventless travel. You can just walk through. It's still a beautiful spring day. And a few hours later, you enter the village. Um, it's a smallish village. You see about, let's say, 20 houses. Most are uh, low, made of wood. It's a, well, it's got some, doesn't have paved roads. It's all just car tracks and stuff. And on the side of the way you enter, wow. you see a very large, very large, about a five story uh, red brick tower. If I were a wizard, I would live mm. there. True. In the brick tower? Yeah. Yes. We could uh, ask the first person we, we come encounter. across. Yeah. Do you know a wizard named Eddie's? All right. Uh, as you enter the town, you see a uh, very burly uh, woodcutter type of man, a big red bushy beard, giant axe, and he's just walking into town from. He doesn't. He didn't come from the road. Just walked out of the forest into the town. And so you want to ask this man? Do you know the wizard by the name of Gaddis? Yes, uh, I know this this wizard. Uh, he he lives over there in the very big uh, red chopper tower. Is he, uh, is he friendly? Is he friendly? He's a bit... Yeah. He, he, he just himself. came out of wood. Nothing special. He, is, uh, no, he answered the question. Yeah. No, he I, buys I, wood I, for I, the fire and he buys meat from the hunters and he doesn't really bother us. Okay. 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 Alright. So now we know about the wizard in the tower. Well, let's go bother him then. Alright. Just uh, make a beeline for the red tower. Make a beeline, beeline for the red tower. tower. So you knock on the door and it always almost immediately gets opened. And there's an old man with a very long grey beard, squinty eyes, and a, a long, pretty blue robe. You, you, with your weaving experience, especially uh, can appreciate the, the weave of this cloth. And uh, it's pretty cloth. Not gonna lie, <laughs> kind of like it. Yeah. Well, he uh, he, he greets you and he um, gives. A, Oh, all right. Uh, who are you then? What are you doing at my tower? You knocked. <laughs> Don't ask. I'm gonna put you in front of the <laughs> Wait, who has the letter? You did. Right? I, you read it. You at the back. I yeah, the back, yeah. But I had the letter. Right? Yeah, yeah. Can we can we discuss what we? Yeah, sure, you don't have to always be in character. You can no, just, yeah, you can just uh, discuss with just one uh, Jan to Andy is also fine. Yeah. Should we immediately tell that we have a letter with nothing on it? I mean, we don't know what it does. Well, we could. I mean, he doesn't mm. seem angry. It's uh, the only reason why we're here, right? Yeah, yeah true. Probably. Yeah, I think we should just give it. Okay. Just ask. So. Are you expecting a letter? I take the letter from you. Yeah, I'll uh, give you the letter. Thank you very much. And I show the wizard the letter and ask him uh, and say the story that we found it in a, in a burnt what, what was it? Cart next to next to the road. And that his name was on it. Okay. Um, he, he, he takes the letter and he goes, oh, oh that doesn't sound very good. Well, you better come in then. I've been waiting for these letters for quite a while. How come you... Uh, oh, yeah, well, you just explained. Uh, right. Where <laughs> Did you find anyone... Uh, did you find Farid near the... Sorry? Farid? Which no. is my servant. No. Anywhere? We didn't find anyone. Oh. The, the cart was raided, obviously, because it was on fire. And try, try, try. the only thing we could identify was a letter meant for you. There were some cobalt footprints. No, that is that is not good. These roads have been I'm getting a <laughs> <laughs> These roads have been very peaceful in the past years and it's quite strange that suddenly the cobalt would start bothering us. Um my my, my servant was bringing them from uh, Talbot to me. Uh would you maybe mind? Would you mind looking for him and maybe I, I retrieve my letters for me? I have his bag. Is there anything left in the bag? He, he, he looks in the bag and he just. No, no, there's no more letters. There. Do you have any to... idea where the cobalts could be? Because we tried looking for tracks, but we were unable to find any. No, not really. It, I would try near the 
near the ambush site because the kobolds usually don't travel too far from their lair. Do you happen to know a spell called uh, Find Kobold? <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Try it. I, I, I specialize in, uh, in artifacts and I'm not really uh, adept at uh, finding people. Okay. Shame. Um, I'm willing to, to compensate you for your troubles. What would be the compensation? We didn't even ask. What kind of did you go? Yeah. What kind of evil man are you? <laughs> <laughs> I just tried to help. Um, I'd, 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 I'd give you uh, uh, 70 uh, gold pieces each. <laughs> to find my, uh, wow, that's my uh, servant and my letters. They are very valuable to me. That's like two yeah. years' wage in the uh, in army. That's more than I ever had. <laughs> That's about a hundred percent more than you ever saw. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, yes. We'll, we'll do it. What is what is the use of the letters? Well, if you may ask. They are uh, notes on some artifacts I'm studying. Why not? And you have no idea what the kobolds were interested in, in seemingly blank letters. No, I have no, I have no clue why they would. Well, I mean, kobolds are just kobolds, you know. It's, I mean, we fought worse, you mended worse. That's very true. Yeah, yes, way worse, way worse. Out there. Cutters. Although they're rats, tiny little shit. The we should be careful. We could we could accept the quest and then look in the village if we can find someone Maybe who knows, else knows something more about the surroundings. Yeah, it's a good idea. Um, so if you go there and eliminate them all, that would be great because we are a small village and we don't want to be raided when everyone is in the forest working. Mm, do we get the gold for returning the letters and your uh, servant? Or for genociding the kobolds? For the letters and the servant. Genociding. <laughs> it's I mean, you said kill them all. Yeah. Ah, ah, yeah, yeah. true. We should, we should kill them. Genocide is a bonus, we do. We, we offer that as a bonus. <laughs> Complimentary. <Apparently. laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's part of the package. <laughs> Complimentary genocide. Drive them off or kill them, I don't, don't mind. Befriend them. Befriend you could as well, uh, <laughs> if you... Or eat yes, them. Eat them. <laughs> <laughs> Lot of right. options. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Return my servant to my village. Oh, oh, oh. We could ask, we could ask the villagers. Maybe they know more. Yeah. yeah. Maybe a hunter of some sort? Yeah, is there an, uh, a hunter's lodge or an inn perhaps? We could. Uh, there is an inn. We can go to the inn and ask around there. Maybe they have heard something. Yes. One last question. Do you possess any cool powers? Or are you by any means <laughs> <laughs> scary um, to those goblins? Yeah, goblins? Kobolds. 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 Yeah. Well, as you can see, I'm a very old man, but... Uh, Wizards tend to be ill a lot of times. Yes, I, I can hold my own, but I am... Well, I was waiting on these letters, and now one has arrived. I'm trying to decipher some very uh, important... All right. ...scriptures. All right. You can make an, uh, an insight check to see if he is keeping secrets, if you feel some... Can I secret do that? Insight. Yeah, you could. You didn't ask That's anything specific, but you can make yeah. an inside check. It's wisdom, right? Yeah. 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 Okay, I will do an inside check. Good. Yeah. Two. Yeah, two. To this man Seven. Has, has told you everything about his self. <laughs> this, this is all there is to know about him. He's such an open figure. <laughs> he was born. He started doing this, and that was five hundred years ago. <laughs> all right. So you let's go to the end. To the end. Let's walk around town, maybe... Let's try the end first. Mm. Yes, okay. Alright. Um, <clears throat> as I said, the, the town is mainly just wooden buildings. It's not a... Uh, uh, well, not a large town. But in the city centre, the city, the town centre, you find a uh, little bit larger hall with, uh, with shuttered windows, which are open. It's very calm there because it's midday, so everyone in the town is probably still working. Yeah. Uh, but you can see a uh, a kind of 
heavy set lady walking around trying to sort of polish the dirty tables and sweep up a bit. Just all right. And no other patrons. There's no no patrons. No at patrons. This time. Just one. Well, let's walk up there and uh, <coughs> ask, um, lady. Did you hear anything about uh, cobalt attacks lately in your small town? Oh, oh, you are quite a, an unusual fellow, aren't you? Um, no, no, there's, mm, there are kobolds in the forest around, uh, but they haven't bothered us too much. Do you well, know... Do you ask? Well, there has been a, an attack, apparently, by kobolds on the road near your town. Oh. Allegedly. Oh, that's... We don't want that. We're quite undefended here. Um... No, I, what do you need to know? Just the general direction of where the kobolds might be. How many, maybe? Yes, I've heard people talking about a possible lair about three miles to the south of the track. It's probably, yeah, I don't know about how far it is, but it's less than a, than a day's walk through the woods. So. Are there any um, camps. hunters uh, in this town who might know the forest a bit? There, there's quite a lot, but they're all out hunting at the moment. Makes sense. We should look out for them. If we are gonna trespass into their territory, they might... Wear a yellow vest. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I technically look like... Look like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll keep standing on two hooves. Keep yelling. Yeah. <laughs> I am not food! <laughs> Please don't shoot me! <laughs> So it's, yeah, she points it's about the direction you came from and you found, you saw the tracks of the kobolds on the south side of the, of the road. But yeah. I'm, uh, does anybody else have questions for her? Otherwise I'm going to hand her a silver piece and thank her for the, for the help. Oh, well, uh, thank you uh, to co co come when, uh, tonight when it's quite busy. It's uh, quite a lively uh, happening here. We'll be back. Well, thank you, nice fellow. Oh, man. Yes, you can just call me uh, Tautu. Tautu. All right. I will. Mr. Tautu. And your name, man? I'm called uh, Greta Hildi. <laughs> <laughs> I will write it down because I will forget myself. <laughs> Hildi or Hilda? Hildi. Well, Greta, <laughs> we will see you this evening. Hopefully. With some dead kobolds. No, I don't say that. That's that's me. That's it. Yeah. That's a main name. Are you, you going to bring them to the inn? Yeah, no, no that's Just not. Bring in a pie. Is anybody kobolds? missing their kobold? Yeah. <laughs> Got some spare kobolds. Who wants one? Hmm. Freshly killed now. <laughs> um, we need anyway, some to the south. Yeah, I mean, we don't need supplies. We still have them from traveling here. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I think 